Okay, so here's how to get five free ships in Starfield. You don't have to pay a single credit for these ships, and once you have them, you can either fly them around, or you're free to sell them for cold hard cash. The first ship we're covering is the Star Eagle. This is the ship you get by completing the Free Star Rangers questline. It's a pretty decent ship with lots of space and speed, and it's way better than your starting ship, the Frontier. And plus, it's free, so even if you don't like it, you can always sell it for credits or use it as a template and upgrade it with weapons and armor and stuff to your heart's content. Always better to have more ships. The quickest way to get the Star Eagle is just by running through the questline of the Free Star Rangers. This questline is found on Aquila. If you haven't found that planet yet, it's right here. <laughs> Land on Aquila for the first time, proceed through the front gate, and you'll come upon a bank heist. The leader of the Free Star Rangers asks you to help out, so go up to the front door of the bank after you've talked to this guy, and then either persuade the bank robbers to come out peacefully, or head in round the back and blast them all to oblivion. This kicks off the quest line for the Free Star Rangers. As a matter of fact, you might just be Free Star Ranger material. Next up, you're invited to this location, which is the main base of the rangers and here's where you get given all your quests do them all and at the end of the quest line your reward is the star eagle time wise you're looking at a good few hours to finish the entire quest line but you can make that a lot shorter just by running through the quest straight to the objective and skipping all the dialogue if you don't really care about the story like for instance in the first mission i was told to take out a gang leader who's in a factory so rather than crawling around and taking out every gang member in turn, I just ran straight to the leader and eliminated him and then fast traveled back to my ship. The whole thing was a lot quicker because all I want is that Star Eagle. And to be honest, it's very, very worth doing the whole Ranger's quest line to get it. By the authority granted to me by the Council of Governors, I hereby promote you to the rank of Ranger. Here's your badge. Wear it with pride. ship is the Razor Leaf and it's amazing. It has a shielded cargo hold so you can smuggle contraband into planets and pass the authorities and even better it can actually make space pirates flee when they see you due to its intimidation factor. That's because this is a legendary ship belonging to a feared figure called the Mantis and when you do the Mantis quest you'll get not only his ship but also his legendary armor as well. Thankfully it takes much less time to do this Mantis quest than it takes to do the Free Star Rangers quest line, as it's just a single one-off quest. As mentioned, it's just called Mantis, and you can find the Mantis quest by getting this note you see here. Now, this note drops randomly from space enemies, so I can't tell you exactly where to get it. But the good news is, it's a really common drop. I've got two Starfield characters, and this note dropped for me less than an hour into the game for both characters. So, do missions that will put you into conflict with spacer enemies and there's a really good chance the note will drop. Interact with the note and it will point you to the location of a secret base. You do need the note before it lets you fly there, you can't just fly to the base before getting the note. <laughs> land it's a pretty linear 10 minute quest where you take out some human and robot enemies in a base and then at the end you'll get both the armor and the razor leaf ship so that's the second free ship on our list None.
third ship comes as a gift from your parents, but only if you've chosen the kid stuff trait when making your character. The kid stuff trait, as you probably know, gives you two parents who you can visit in the game. They live in an apartment in the residential area of New Atlantis. The catch is that you do have to send home money every week to them, which gets deducted from your funds automatically. It's really not that big of a deal though, because your reward is a free ship called the Wonder Well. Maybe a little Oasis reference there. The Wonder Well is valued at 89,197 credits, which is way more than the amount of money you end up sending back. So the kid stuff trades more than pays for itself. As for the exact moment your parents do give you the ship, it is a few hours into the game and you do have to do a few unrelated quests for it to come up. It happens at different times for different people. So all I can say is just keep progressing through the game and visiting your parents every once in a while until they offer you this ship. And your room is just a mess. Although that's how you left it. Our next ship is the Kepler R, a class C ship with a gigantic cargo hold, really good shields and loads of fuel so you can get wherever you need to go. To get the Kepler R, you have to progress through the main story quest line until you reach a mission called High Price to Pay. This is the 11th mission in the story, so it is quite a way into the game. After you do this mission, Walter Stroud will make a speech and this kicks off a side quest called Overdesigned. Now, depending on how you complete this quest, you'll unlock one of two possible ships. These are either the Kepler S or the Kepler R. So to get the better of these two ships, which is the Kepler R, here's what you need to do. Number one, pick the larger budget and pass the persuasion check. Two, Talk to everyone in the group and positively reinforce their ideas. Three, complete two destroy or combat missions. And lastly, choose to use team building and pick the most positive motivational responses. Doing all of this gets you the amazing C-Class Kepler R. So in conclusion, do the main quest until you come to the 11th mission, do that one, and this opens up the overdesigned quest line. Complete it in the manner I've just told you, and you will unlock the best possible ship out of the two options. The Kepler are all for free. And lastly, the UC Prison Shuttle. It's got no weapons, no shields, and no real point to installing either because this might be literally the worst ship in the entire game. Yeah, we haven't really saved the best tool last in this video. We've saved the most trash. Honestly, there's not really any point even to having this thing, but this is a video of the free ships you can get in Starfield, and it's my sworn duty to tell you about them. So if you did want to get your hands on the UC Prison Shuttle, it's a matter of doing the Crimson Fleet quest line. After a few quests, you'll get one specific quest that rewards you with the prison shuttle. To join the Crimson Fleet, you'll need to commit a crime on New Atlantis and get caught. You'll then be sent to jail. Here, you'll meet a military officer who tasks you with infiltrating the Crimson Fleet. Do all of the Crimson Fleet quests until you come to the Echoes of the Past mission. This is the third mission. For this mission, you'll escape a prison called the Lock, and you'll do this in a small prison transport ship called the UC Prison Shuttle. At the end of the mission, you'll get to keep the shuttle, which is amazing, another free ship. Okay, it's not a great ship, so I wouldn't really recommend going out of your way to get this ship, but it is a cool little bonus for doing the Crimson Fleet quest line, and hey, it is free. So those were five free ships you can get in Starfield for the low, low price of absolutely nothing. Besides time, of course, arguably the most precious of all currencies. I say arguably because I do really like Indian rupees. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a like if it helped you out. And for more Starfield guides, subscribe to the channel. <laughs>